Hey guys, in this video I made Pac-Man vs 3D. If you don't know, Pac-Man is an action maze video game where the player controls this puck character through an enclosed maze. The objective of the game is to eat all the dots placed in the maze whilst avoiding four coloured ghosts, Blinky, Pinky, Inky and Clyde, that will try to catch you. The first thing I did was pick the art style that I wanted for the game. The other day I was browsing YouTube and I saw this video by Cody Can't Eat This where he recreated the original Zelda game in Unity. I really liked the voxel art style that he used inside of this project, it made the game look really nice, so I decided that I'd recreate my Pac-Man game with this art style. The first model that I needed to create was Pac-Man. In order to create him in a voxel style, I downloaded this software called Magic Voxel which easily allows you to create voxel art. I watched a few videos on YouTube to get the hang of it. Magic Voxel also allows you to drag 2D images into the software and turn them into 3D voxel models. So to be quick, I just dragged this 2D pixel art image of Pac-Man and used the software to turn it into a 3D model. The model was looking quite flat, so I added some cubes around it to make it look more 3D. Once I had done this, I hopped onto Unreal Engine and set up the Pac-Man character so that he could be controlled. In the game, when Pac-Man moves, his mouth opens up and down as he eats the dots on the screen. So I made another model of Pac-Man where his mouth is closed. Then made it so that whenever Pac-Man is moving, he'll constantly switch between these two models of his mouth being open and his mouth being closed. If Pac-Man was just standing still, I just left it so that his mouth would remain open. Next, I was going to make a maze in which Pac-Man could move around in. Although I found this model on Sketchfab which had recreated the Pac-Man level 1 in this voxel X style so I decided I would just use this. I edited the model in Blender a bit to remove the dots and other objects which I did not want in it and then I imported this model into Unreal Engine and we now have a maze for our player character to move around in. With the maze complete I worked on adding the dots which Pac-Man would eat. These were very easy to make as it was just a square model. I placed these throughout my maze so now Pac-Man could go around collecting them. I then implemented a system which would count how many dots were in the level. So for example, when I placed 75 dots in the first level, the game would display this on the screen, and every time the player collects a dot, the UI would update to reflect this. When the player has successfully eaten all the dots in the level, they'll then be taken to the end of level screen. Now that I've done this, I began work on the enemies. So in Pac-Man, there are four ghosts which chase Pac-Man around the maze and try and stop him. Blinky, Pinky, Inky and Clyde. In the original game, each of these ghosts move in their own specific ways, although we'll get into that later. I then made models for each of these in Magic Voxel, similar to how I'd made Pac-Man, by just importing the 2D sprite, using this as a reference and making the 3D model out of this. Once they were all done, I popped them into Unreal Engine. Now that we had all the ghost models, it was time to program them. In Pac-Man, the ghost AI would have four different modes that they could be in. The first mode that they could be in was scatter mode. In this mode, the ghost would pick a point on the map and just move around it. In the original game, each ghost would try and target a specific point on the map when they were in this mode. Blinky would target the top right of the map, Pinky would target the top left of the map, Inky would target the bottom right of the map, and Clyde would target the bottom left of the map. I made it so that the ghosts would randomly move around within a thousand units of these points in my game when they were in this mode. The next mode was chase mode. Whilst in this mode, the ghost would target Pac-Man's location and try and run into him to destroy him. In the original game, each ghost had a specific method of targeting Pac-Man when they were in this mode. For example, Blinky would target Pac-Man's location and just try and move towards it, whilst Blinky would target two dots in front and two dots to the left of Pac-Man. Although I'm kind of lazy, so I made it so that when in chase mode, all the ghosts would try and target Pac-Man's exact location and kill him. If they did reach Pac-Man, I made it so that he would crumble into loads of different pieces and the ghost would return to scatter mode. The next mode that we had for the ghosts was Frighten mode. In Pac-Man, there are four power pellets placed in each level, and whenever Pac-Man eats one of these, it will cause all the ghosts in the level to enter Frighten mode. When they're in this mode, they will turn blue and randomly try and move away from Pac-Man, as whilst they're in this mode, they are weak to him. To create this, I first created a power palette model, which was not too bad as it was kind of similar to the dot model, very simple to create. I then designed the models that the ghosts would turn into when they are in frightened mode. After this was set up, I made the blueprints, 
so that whenever Pac-Man eats a power pellet, all the ghosts on the level will turn into frightened mode and start to run away from them. If a ghost is in frightened mode and Pac-Man manages to eat them, they'll turn into their final mode, eaten mode. Whilst in this mode, the ghost will turn into a pair of eyeballs and run back home. The home is the location of where the ghost first starts. Once the ghost returns back home after being eaten, it will return back to its original form and continue doing whatever it was doing before it was eaten. To create this, I first had to just edit my ghost voxel model so it was just its eyeballs. I then made it in Unreal Engine so that whenever you ate a ghost whilst it was in frightened mode, it would scurry back home. One final thing about the AI. In Pac-Man, the ghost would determine whether to be in scatter or chase mode with a timer. Initially, they would start off in scatter mode for 7 seconds and then switch to chase mode for 20 seconds, so it would briefly switch between scatter and chase mode. After it switched between these um, modes a couple of times, eventually it would just enter chase mode indefinitely after a set period of time. A big shout out goes to Retro Game Mechanics Explained for explaining how the Pac-Man Ghost AI worked which helped me build this project. With this, I'd set up the AI for my game. Although there was one problem. Playing Pac-Man from this third person perspective was quite hard as you had no idea where the ghosts were in the game, so it'd be kind of hard for you to avoid them. To fix this, I added a minimap system. This minimap system was just a camera on top of the level and basically help you know where you are and where the ghost locations were. To finish things off, I updated the UI to look similar to the original game. On the top half of the screen, it would constantly show the 1-up text which would be flashing, and below this it would display the player's score. In my game, the player's score would increase by plus 10 every time they ate a dot, and by plus 200 every time they ate a ghost. On the bottom of the screen, I displayed the player's lives. With this, I finished making my 3D voxel Pac-Man game. You can check out some of the gameplay now. So join me in the maze, we have um, 75 dots to collect. So let's just go. Okay, I've collected this so the ghost won't follow me. And now I'm just gonna collect some dots for a bit. Okay, we're halfway there. I've got half of the dots. I just need half more. This guy keeps, ooh, okay, that was close. Run away, fool. Run away. Okay, I only have one dot left. And, ooh. That was close. Will I make it? All the dots are in horrible locations now. Damn it. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.